money is supposed to serve as a reliable standard of economic value, not a source of instability. Until we restore sound money and take away the government's ability to debase it, we have little hope of restoring the freedom and prosperity that made America great. Yo. Yo. Federal taxes, state taxes, city taxes, sales taxes factor into your transactions. Get paid a yearly salary for $80,000 that shrivels down to 40 grand quicker than you can count it, particularly for employees. Cheese taken from your check, like, check twice. Is it correct? The government's like, right, yeah, it's correct. Uncle Sam is off target for $14 billion. The national debt is still rising, but speaking more specifically, the dollar bill has no real value. Check the history. Started that certificate for gold held in storage. A fractional reserve bank and dropped the market value up and increasing the money supply. They made more of it. Eventually removed the gold that they had stored for it. 1971 under Nixon. Can nearly every 40 years we change money systems. They still work making minimum wage. It came up to about $200 a week and then they would take out $50 in taxes. But that's a lot of money if you only make $200 a week, man. That's like kicking Wednesday and Thursday in the ass. $50 a week in tax money. What do I get for my tax money? Get all the free street light in the world. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, give everybody a candle. Give my fucking $50 back. That's With the end of the Bretton Woods system in 1971, okay, a dollar was free for many fiscal constraints, allowing okay. the U.S. to print as much paper gold as the wanted. A power That's still holds today. No other country in the world has this advantage, and now U.S. politicians seem to consider it their birthright. This advantage gives the U.S. the ability to run budgets, trade in other deficits and imbalances far in excess of anything the world has ever seen. Now back to the future today, 2011, I'm sure you've heard where the economy is headed. President Obama won't fix it. Not being cynical, but fundamentally, he's a politician, and they pushed the problem forward for years, increasing spending, and most of them will really talk about it or end it. And God we trust, but God's in debt to the Fed Reserve Bank, so when you give thanks, pray to burn ain't, cause check the situation. The Federal Reserve controls the economy with money manipulations that makes it easier to get the loan for your house and car. Makes the clothes cost more when you go to the mall. Basic inflation, deflation, stack the nation is stagnating of financial education and not a prerequisite for school graduation. If you knew more, you wouldn't have worked for money you created. In other words, since 1980, facing stagnated real wages is the only way American consumers have been able to significantly improve their lifestyles. Either one, to take on more debt using assets which have appreciated the value, such as collateral from stock investments and housing, or two, to refinance their existing debt at lower interest rates. When consumers were unable to do either of these things, they cut back on spending, triggering consumer-led recessions. May I help you, sir? How much for order are you? Uh, 250. Jerry Curl, man. Pay me and get the hell out of my store. 